JK Rowling has had her road closed off outside her two pounds. Two million homes of the branches of her massive hedge can be trimmed back away from the road and pavement. The Harry Potter author, 56, had a road close to Edinburgh closed off to traffic today, with a set of four-way traffic lights even being installed, so that arborists could come and maintain the 30 feet lay on the eye hedge. The giant hedge could be seen overhanging a wall as cones littered the road, preventing traffic from traveling through. A giant blue cherry picker was next to the hedge as a team of arborists worked to tidy up the overhanging branches. Workmen in orange high-vis jackets could be seen gathering as they took on the challenge. This isn't the first time the author's hedges have been trimmed back. In July 2015, part of the road was closed off to traffic so arborists could cut back overhanging branches. In October 2020, the 30 feet hedge once again needed to be cut back as it underwent regular maintenance. It comes after the Harry Potter author leapt to singer Macy Gray's defense after the star weighed in on transgender issues on Piers Morgan's show, Uncensored, last week. The I Try hitmaker didn't hold back as she said to Piers Morgan, 57, on his chat show last night that she does not believe transgender women should be allowed to compete against biological women in sport. The singer exclaimed that just because you change your parts that doesn't make you a woman. Her interview sparked a lot of response, leaving Piers and author J. K. Rowling to defend the singer on Twitter. Discussing transgender women in sport, Macy exclaimed, Just because you go and change your parts doesn't make you a woman, sorry. She went on, I know that for a fact. If you want me to call you a her, I will, because that's what you want but that doesn't make you a woman just because I call you a her and just because you got a surgery. Dot Beers then mentioned Jay. K. Rowling and the transphobic row she was stuck in last year, with Macy agreeing with the author. She continued, but it's the truth. I don't think you should be called transphobic just because you don't agree. Rowling, who was blasted for her comments about transgender people last year, took to Twitter to also defend the singer. She wrote in view of her 13. 9 million followers, today feels like a good day to ensure I've bought at Macy Gray's life's entire back catalogue. In 2020, Rowling faced backlash after taking to Twitter to express her views over an article by Devex, writing, People who menstruate. I'm sure there used to be a word for those people. Someone help me out. Wumpen? Wimpened? Womud, she added.